everything. So we'll start with uh, Dhruv introducing Vijay Kapta. Hello, everyone. On behalf of the HRD committee and the BCAS, I have the honor of introducing our today's speaker, Mr. Vinay Vijay Kapta. Mr. Vijay is a chartered accountant by profession. He has done part-time MBA program from JBMIS in association with BCA. He has worked with Rajan Raheja Group and has also worked in various capacities in the field of finance, accounts, MIS, audit, tax, and also has been an active member in the IPO of the company. We welcome you, sir, and thank you so much for taking out time for this webinar. Over to you, sir. Thank you, Duro, for the nice introduction. Uh, first of all, I would wish all the participants a very happy new year and a prosperous new year. Last year, because of Corona, we have faced a lot of problems. I would wish everybody first a very happy new year, a healthy, wealthy, in terms of all, all aspects. So uh, I would, would appreciate uh, if uh, some participants give their expectations, what they are expecting from this session, so that uh, I can address to that particular point and make it more fruitful for them. You can type in the chat box, what is your uh, expectation out of that, so that I can begin with the presentation. We have with us Govind ji, I just noticed she is there. Okay. Yeah. Would you like to say anything, Govind ji? Unmute Govind ji. I think Govindji is on unmute, but he has not connected to audio yet. Govindji, you're, uh, you're, you're on unmu uh, unmute. I think something wrong with his connection. You'll carry on. Vijayji, carry on. Carry on. So I should, should I start sharing my screen? I think a few of participants have put their point of view, they, how to take risk and make money on for you. So I'll start sharing my screen. Are you able to see my screen? Yeah, Vijay, we can yes, see your yes. screen. Okay. So, uh, we will discuss today how to create wealth for ourselves, how to manage it and how to increase it or take it to a next higher level. It is a well-known proverb that health is wealth. It takes time and effort to maintain the health in the same fashion after earning wealth. It is important to manage that. All of us earn wealth in some form or other form. We do, we do job or we start our own business, or we have our own uh, professional firm. So all of us know how to make money. Now it is how to create wealth out of it or how to make the money what you've earned work for you and take it to a further level. It is also said time is money. Time is extremely important. Today will not return tomorrow. So we should take care and ensure that we get maximum benefit out of the time what we are investing to. Before uh, I start my presentation, I would uh, like to get into aspects, like what kind of a person you are. You should first think what kind of a person you are. You are confident person. What are your habits and traits? How, how do you look how do you take along people with yourself? How do you look at yourself? Whether you trust people, you, how do you react in situations like fear? Whether how you are able to manage fear? So these are the few steps which you have to think well and, this, and talk to yourself first. Whether you are confident or not. 
so this will help you in ensuring that you get the relevant uh, matter loss of compounding now loss of compounding is known to everyone loss of compounding applies to all fields of life whether it is wealth whether it is relationship whether it is studies whether it is your profession whether it is your self development whether it is your contacts you want to develop new clients or whether you want to leverage time i will just give you an example i started my job in 1996 at that point of time ppa was giving 12% interest at that point of time 12% tax free was a good deal of amount but today the same ppa is giving only 7% that time i decided that i will invest in ppa because of the power of compound and you will not believe that charlie munger and warren buffett both are good advocates of law of compounding they again and again emphasize the fact that law of compounding is very good you will not believe at a 12% cagr your rupees 2 lakhs grows to 6 lakh 60000 in next 10 years that's how the it's power of compounding that is 3.3 times almost if you can divide 72 by 6 to get the time of money or the rate, uh, by the rate of interest 72 divided by the rate of interest will give you the amount of years where your money will compound now <clears throat> take the example of your professional development it is the best investment which you will make in yourself how will you do it slowly steadily take baby steps every day when i was a child i was studying in a convent school my brother sepian used to tell me you want to increase your vocabulary you take two words a day and learn two words a day two words a day into 365 will be 730 assuming that if we if i had studied for 20 years how many words i would have learned in it so this is small small steps you can take for your self development it need not necessarily be anything now take the example of relationship how what is the what is the benefit of relationship example of relationship you want see relationships are extremely important if you don't have a good relationship say for example you fight with your wife every day it is going to affect your profession it is going to have some impact on somewhere else that's why it will it will be a deterrent for you to make money all these are interlinked man is a social animal hence relationships are very important so it's like a bank account relationship is a like a bank account if you just keep on withdrawing 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 nothing will come out of it hence you need to put deposits in a relationship spend 5 minutes or 10 minutes with your wife every day is a good quality time spend 10 minutes with your child talk to him what has happened throughout the day what did he like what did he not like this is the best way of understanding your child understanding your children and improving your relationship with them same thing is with your profession all of us are right now attending a webinar or a seminar what is the need of it sharpen our own skills <clears throat> if i will give you an example shiv khera in his book has written that one person was trying to cut trees every day one person was with the same both had the same skill set both have a same type of axe with the same skill set one person was able to cut eight trees in a day another person was able to cut only four trees in a day both went to their bosses their bosses rewarded the person who used to cut eight trees the other employee complained i am spending more than him why are you giving him rewards the boss said that he is cutting more number of trees than me so how can he cut more number of trees i am spending more amount of time so she that that time he said you go and ask that person when the other employee went to that person and asked him 
how are you doing it he said what i do after cutting a single tree i sharpen my axe so sharpening the axe reduce the amount of time by which that person was able to cut more number of trees than the other person so same thing is with our profession the small small investments every day will help us in our profession now help us in our business help us in our uh, development same thing if you want to develop new clients it will help you in the same fashion leverage time time leveraging is more important you have only 24 hours at your disposal if you want to make money create wealth for yourself you need to have a more time at your disposal reason because the more you can only increase the time by leveraging it you need hire other hire employees either hire somebody else that is that is the only methodology of increasing the time now let us go to the wealth principle how will you make more money if you want this picture itself is more than clear it will tell you what exactly i want to say there is a fruit on the trees there is a branch there are the roots so what does this fruits or roots indicate to you the fruits are the results that is what you see in today's world we just look at the results we do not look at what are the roots how it is coming from where it is coming from so we need to understand that our inner world reflects our outer world it is what we are inside determines what you are going to be tomorrow just take the example of donald trump donald trump was bankrupt at one position of time however he has again regained his all his assets reason he had his inner world was different from other take the example of the person who has won in a lottery or take the example of person sushil kumar who won 5 crore rupees in kon banega crorepati after winning 5 crores he is now left with nothing my disclaimer this is what i have read in newspaper and media reports i have not personally verified what he himself has told or what media has reported is that after running five crores people were after him he did not have small amount of time he was just running about attending meetings then he 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 fall into drinking mode and then he had a fights with his wife his whole life was spoiled conclusion that he finally said that i would have been better off had i not won five crores why i am giving you this example so for the plain simple reason he did not have the requisite inner type inner inner setting for managing that level of money you may say kon banega crorepati to wo apne education se jeeta mehnat se jeeta nahi to kaisa 5 crore jeeta itna difficult difficult questions aata hai yes but earning money and then managing it and creating wealth for yourself is not that easy your inner things are determined only will determine your outer you can see the roots you can't see the roots but if roots are not there how will you get the fruits if you want mango then you will have to seed mango seeds if you want chiku then you will have to seed chiku seeds so it's the seeds which determine what type of a fruits would come in so whatever fruits you want you have to put that type of seeds we will have to water it around we will have to uh, give it manure and then you have to take it to the next higher level take the example of amita bachchan at one point of time amita bachchan was totally broke avcl was running into losses kon banega crorepati was the only one source from where again amita bachchan dream made is sir there is there is one logic behind it if you see there are few people who say i am self made man 
मैं आप कमाई पे जीता हूं बाप कमाई पे नहीं जीता हूं तो पीपल हु आर सेल्फ मेड हैव ऑलरेडी फाउंड आउट द ब्लू प्रिंट फर्स्ट एज टू हाउ मेक मिलियन सो इवन इफ दे लूज देयर मनी दे हैव दैट ब्लू प्रिंट एंड दे विल अगेन कम बैक अगेन विद द बिग बैंक एंड अगेन दे विल बिकम अ मिलियनर सो व्हाट इज रिक्वायर्ड इज अ ब्लू प्रिंट यू शुड हैव अ प्रॉपर ब्लू प्रिंट विद यू व्हिच विल हेल्प यू इन कमिंग बैक and making a big bang my uh feeling is that whatever you cannot see or what is invisible is more powerful than what you can see take the example of air can you see air no it is invisible but is extremely powerful extremely required for our life can you see electricity no you can but you don't do you try to put hand in the socket and feel electricity no whatever is not visible is extremely powerful so what you cannot see is extremely powerful what is going in your mind you can't see extremely powerful so <clears throat> at end of the day what what is what is this four quadrants i will come to now this thing money is a result wealth is a result this m stands for mental e stands for emotional s stands for spiritual and p stands for physical our physical health is a result of our mental state our emotional state our spiritual state if you do exercise daily but still you have stress then you will still have a bad health you can you can reduce the stress with the help of exercise but not remove it completely we live in a world of cause and effect so what i had told you earlier that how you are confident how are you feeling about yourself how do you feel that whether you deserve money you are capable of generating money what kind of a person you are all these things are important whether you can manage your mood koi bolega are mera mood kharab hai yaar mere ko to kaam nahi karna but this character leads to your thinking thinking leads to your beliefs or beliefs leads to the level of success you will get your income can only grow how much you can grow if you can grow yourself extremely high your income levels will automatically grow take the uh, take the example of a person giving a seminar say for example if a person is giving seminar or conducting a seminar of 10 persons what will be his revenue what will be the revenue of a person who is conducting a seminar of 100 person what will be the revenue of a person who will be conducting a seminar of 1000 person obviously if you are if you are capable enough of giving or you can grow yourself to such a extent that you can address 1000 people and you can keep them glued or give them some value proposition obviously you are going to make more money so you the 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 way you grow the the level to level which you can grow will determine how much your income is going to grow now how to ensure that or what you will do for yourself to ensure that you grow more or you you reach there declaration you will first tell to yourself by keeping a point on your head that i have a millionaire mindset you say that i have a millionaire mindset 
this will help you to change your inner world inner world is very very important what going inside you don't know you feel feel slowly steadily you will improve the first step is a declaration which will make to yourself and this will help bring out a change in yourself <clears throat> now let us come to money blueprint what is blueprint blueprint is nothing but a map or in our hindi bhasha naksha hai ghar ka naksha bolo ek blueprint ek naksha hai ab naksha bolo money ka kiska bhi so blueprint is a for a house in the same fashion you have to have a blueprint for making money blueprint is having a program of how you are going to generate money now what is important here we have to understand that thoughts leads to feelings feelings what i have shown here this thoughts leads to feelings feeling leads to action and action leads to results so your thoughts are changing your feelings your feelings leads to action action leads to a result for example you see an ad somebody is having a burger you are tempted you start feeling you will start mouth watering your mouth start watering so what you will do you will take some action you will also think of ordering a burger this is more with child it even with adults but if you see it is more with child when sir, when a child sees something in the ad you will say papa please buy me this the thought leads to feelings feeling leads to action and action leads to results what is your money blueprint and how it is formed a blueprint is a combination of your thoughts feelings and actions in the arena of money how is a blueprint formed it comes from most people like parent sibling your teachers your friends your religious leader media and culture sometimes community also plays a role so first of all what is important is program what type of programming you have got and from where you get that programming is also important programming leads to thoughts thoughts leads to action action leads to feeling feeling leads to action action finally leads to results so if you want results then you will have to go back 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 and change the program a mind is a very 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 powerful programmer how are we condition we are condition in three primary ways in every area of life including money first is verbal programming what did you hear when you were young then modeling what did you see when you were young early days we used to hear the story of mahabharata ramayana and we thought like we will become this like say for example how did i become a chartered accountant when i was studying there were only three courses available one was chartered accountancy one was doctor and third was engineer this were the three respected professions so out of that i chose chartered accountancy because i knew that i cannot get 95% mark this is my limitation my father doesn't have sufficient money where he will not be able to finance me for <coughs> the medic medical thing even if i am able to generate 88% then my father will have to give donations to make me a doctor which will not be in his capacity so i chose to become a ca so this this how did it come into our mind because at that that time there were only three professions today there are variety of profits available professions available but how person will see in his family are yaar ye ca ban ke to paisa bana hai to apne ko bhi ca banna chahiye अरे यार ये तो मास्टर शेफ बन गया मास्टर शेफ भी अच्छा ऑप्शन अवेलेबल है तो मास्टर शेफ बन सकता है 
but how this idea comes into a person's mind you see when you are young how people have prospered what is what is their category so this is how uh, you do modeling for yourself then specific instances what did you experience when you were young these are the specific instances which determines your money blueprint the first influence is verbal programming what we have discussed earlier you would have heard earlier from your father or from somebody money money is the root of all evils are paisa bachao kabhi kaam aayega kharab dinon mein save your money for a rainy day you would have also heard that rich people are very greedy rich people are criminals will they reach you have to work hard to make money are bahut mehnat karna padta hai yaar udhar pahunchne ke liye and you would have heard many times are paisa jhad pe ugta hai kya aise hi dun ke tarah when you are small as a children your father would have said to paisa jhad pe ugta hai kya i assume that the participants are of middle group because when i was young i heard but maybe if the participants are age of 25 they would not have heard this this type of uh, thing from their uh, parents or from their teachers or from somebody else mm-hmm. money doesn't buy happiness you would have heard not it is this is not necessarily true but yes it's true to a certain extent because you can't buy love from money or whatever it is but money doesn't buy happiness money talks the richer gets richer and the poor get poor this you would heard from every everybody who would be earning salary are paise wala log to paise wale hi banta hai apun to udhar ka udhar hi reh gaya bhai so this is a 999 trap you fall into just keep on earning naukri karte raho naukri karte raho paisa banate raho bas wahi chakkar 99 ka chakkar chalte rehta hai so uh, this is where what we are coming from so <coughs> the first influence is your verbal programming now because of this verbal programming what has happened you have thought ki bhai what is going in your mind some duvida is going in your mind you re, you, you if have you if you have would have seen the film sultan then you would have seen how sultan is struggling in, in his mind that he is very struggling very hard or he says that sultan ko ek hi aadmi aa sakta hai wo hai khud sultan and he says to the his coach that you cannot understand what's going in my mind currently so only you can understand what's going in your mind nobody else can understand what's going in your mind now how to essentially reprogram your mind in film sultan the coach helped him in some fashion but a coach is just a person like you and me he will just help you in understanding what is going wrong he will push your limits and he will help you achieving he will ensure that you don't lose your focus and he will ensure that you finally reach the goal so when you are doing a reprogramming what is essential is that you should be aware of what is going wrong understanding from where your thinking originates thereafter you have to dissociate yourself from that particular thinking say for example if you are thinking that money is root cause of all evil then you should understand acha ye mera problem create kar raha hai तो अभी मेरा माइंड में मेरे को ये निकालना पड़ेगा बाहर एंड देन यू टू स्टार्ट रिकंडीशनिंग योर सेल्फ टू एंश्योर दैट योर न्यू प्रोग्राम इज फिटेड इन योर कंप्यूटर चिप विच इज योर माइंड द सेकंड इन्फ्लुएंस इज योर पेरेंट्स योर गार्डियंस नाउ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू वुड हैव सीन हाउ डू योर फादर or mother handle your finances in their in your childhood days 
so you if you would have seen them how they would have known either you would have copied them or either you would have uh, at that point of time had you thought that your father or mother is not handling the finances and uh, you want to handle in a different way that time you would have told to yourself ki chalo bhai theek hai yaar papa ko aisa karna karne do samajhte nahi hai apun bade ban ke aisa karenge so this is where that second influence is coming from then monkey see monkey do you would have heard the story of a cap seller who was traveling during the jungle and he sat below a tree for some time to rest and he left all his caps down all monkeys on the tree came down and took his caps and he was trapped he suddenly had an idea he had one cap on his head what did he do he threw the cap from his head on the ground and all the monkeys also did the same thing so he took all the caps and then went away and happily sold the cap the point what i am trying to make here is that we learn by observing others last day i was just observing my neighbor what he did he took coca cola ka bottle and on the top of that cap he put four or five holes and pressed that bottle and was using it like a sprinkler for plants for the trees and plants i got that idea this is a very good idea i will use it we learn by observing other small child children also when they go to park they learn by observing other if a apple falls from the tree it remains near about the tree only it can't go far now i will give one exercise which you should do which will help you uh, in understanding yourself much better you write down what your father or mother used to do when they were young how they used to manage the finances and then you will see from there that you can whether you can relate it to yourself second thing what you can do you can note down what is what what you are doing right now this will help you in understanding what strategy is working for you and what strategy is going against you this will help you to understand yourself much better have you heard lot of people telling that i, I was happy when i was young or when i did not have money what would be the reason for that i would like to uh, do a poll on this to understand whether what is what do you feel why what motivates you from acquiring money or success can we have a poll hello is anybody there yes sir what upon yes yes we can grace who will uh, arrange for the poll anybody there grace Gracie, okay, no problem. I will, I will. Uh, if you can type in the chat box, whatever your responses are there, participants can type the in the chat box whatever they feel. Oh, Vijay, can we do it a little ten minutes later? 
no problem but i have to continue the presentation so yeah, yeah, you just... continue with the presentation i will continue give let them type in the chat box no? yeah let them type in the chat box no problem no that way we won't get the percentage he is doing it okay okay so you carry on Mr. yeah so your motivation for acquiring money or success if it comes from a non supportive cause such as fear anger or the need to prove yourself you will never be happy in your life say for example if there is a anger between a parent and a child whatever amount of money you will have it cannot reduce the differences or it cannot reduce the anger between a parent and a child you need to address to the root cause then only that can be addressed then there is, if there is a fear say for example there is a fear of losing the money whatever you earned that fear cannot be it cannot be reduced or it cannot be removed or it cannot be wiped out from your mind fear is a habit it is it whatever you don't practice doesn't become a habit and whatever you practice becomes a habit so if you address your fear every day that means you are practicing of how to remove fear from yourself so fear is part of the habit say for example you are into habit of not doing something you will obviously not do you will maintain a status quo money can't make you something different than what you are whatever you are you are there say for example people will think are paisa aayega to bahut kuch badal jayega paisa aayega to aap to nahi badalne wale aap to wohi ke wohi rahoge so shayad people ka public log ka nazariya badal jayega lekin aap to wohi rehne wale ho pehla public kisi ko glass aadha khali dikh raha tha ab shayad usko aadha bara dikh raha hai so the the perspective of people is changing not you you are not changing so if you are what you are money is not going to make any difference so if your cause comes from something like proving yourself to people or from a fear what is the opposite of fear you are looking at security you are looking at a security and that security comes from the fear i'll give you an example when we go out station generally we put a lock outside our door we think that by putting a lock that thieves will not visit our house safe rahega but everybody knows that ki today thief can break any type of locks but you feel you you feel that yes after putting the lock you feel that yes at least i am safe so this is where that security of for a lock emanates from the fear of losing something i know a person who has got 2 crores in cash but still he or she is afraid of putting money in various aspects are mere paas to itna hi paisa hai ye chala gaya to kya hoga now if that is the type of a mindset then you cannot make money for growing wealth you if you put if you are going to put money this full to crores in fixed deposit only and not invest in any other type of category of bond or equity or something else then you are not going to make money because you are fearing that you are going to lose money and this is what is stopping you from not taking a little bit amount of a risk so this are the three factors we have to understand where you are coming from what is beneath you now i will move to my next uh, slide which i think would be a uh, lot of you would have seen a movie of sanjeev kumar yehi hai zindagi 
it is it, it came in 1977 uh, for the benefit of the crowd uh, participants who have not seen the movie i will just explain in brief because maybe some crowd would have been uh, would be young and would not have seen the movie so for the benefit of those people i'll explain in just two minutes and it is a fine movie whereby you will get the full money blueprint for yourself and this movie explains us what can go wrong what cannot go wrong what steps you need to do what steps you want to take and what you need not take so the movie goes like this that sanjeev kumar is working in a hotel and he wants to become rich so what he does is he takes a 50 rupees from a mundi of god so god comes to his dreams every night and asks him to refund that 50 rupees so he says that to the god that you don't know what are my troubles how i am and he feels that that money is a panacea to all problems and he says then god's asking him अरे भाई तेरे पास पैसा आ जाएगा तो तेरा सब प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व हो जाएगा दिस इज यस गिव मी मनी माय ऑल प्रॉब्लम्स विल गेट सॉल्व वंस मनी कम्स इन हिज ऑल अदर फर्दर प्रॉब्लम स्टार्ट्स ही वाज लिविंग वेरी हैप्पीली आई टोल्ड यू अर्लियर इन माय इलिया साइड टू पीपल फील दैट दे वर हैप्पी व्हेन दे डोंट हैव मनी हियर इन दिस मूवी आल्सो इट इट इज शोन दैट द फैमिली वाज वेरी हैप्पी व्हेन दे डिड नॉट हैव मनी बिकॉज़ दे वर टुगेदर दे वर हैविंग लंच ऑन वन लंच टेबल as money started coming in then sanjeev kumar started thinking are bhai mere ek minute ek ek crore rupaye ka hai and he when a phone came for a meeting or a discussion which involved lot of crores of rupees he used to leave the lunch table and go now when your purpose is something different then how will you enjoy say for example if your purpose was to make money to have a good flat once you have ensured that you reach that money then if you are going to change your goal post every now and then first of all your aim is to make say 2 crore rupees uh, once you earn 2 crore rupees then you will shift the goal post from 2 crore to 10 crore obviously you will not be happy if you are going to change your goal post every now and then you will never be happy so you need to know where you need to pull out a point when i was young and i started working for 3 years thereafter i decided i was almost 4 to 5 years i was working i used to get up at 5:30 in the morning or 5 o'clock then i used to go to churchy gate to attend jamnalal bajaj institute of management mba program after that attending that i used to go to office by 9 9:30 from that 9:30 then i was because it was my first career in the job i had was working till 12 o'clock in the night to ensure that i make good amount of money i did this continuously for 4 to 5 years then i realized when i am going to enjoy my life so will i do this throughout my life till 60 till 70 till 80 i am going to work like this only at that point of time i decided very clearly in my mind that by age of 45 i will ensure that i achieve a financial freedom and i start working on that goal and mind you when i was 45 i decided to call it a quits i i left my job and i am now pursuing my passion my passion is financial gold growing wealth ensuring people ensuring that people grow their wealth making them happy if i make them happy i will also become happy you become rich i will also become rich and end of the day this is what you have to install new links for earning money in your mind that's what my presentation was the first awareness then you have to understand where your thoughts are coming from then dissociate yourself and install reconditioning now once you understood what is what is right wrong You start reconditioning yourself now. Install the new program. What you feel that money will help you in make, making you happy. Install all these new links, and you will surely be happy.
this movie is a very good movie if you can watch you will you can you will be easily you will be easily able to relate to my presentation and it, it is a very fine blueprint because at end of the day what happens is that sanju kumar has to leave all his wealth and then go for sanya we don't want to do those things so this is a very good movie because this will give you all the things what can go wrong when you can tick out all the things what can go wrong and you can have a plan for that particular activity you will obviously succeed in that the third in the poll now you want to have the poll now i think uh, the purpose uh, you can have the poll but i think the purpose would not you be so the percentage you yeah, yeah, the you, you do the poll no problem i'll wait for 2 minutes or 1 minute and then we can proceed bilal yes ma'am launching poll one So sixty-seven percent have voted first choice, and thirty-six percent people have said no. So <clears throat> anyway, I have given my answer to the question that uh, our uh, main important is that security. What we are seeking from comes from the fact that we are fearing of losing something. If you can, uh, you you would have seen the Shole movie. जो डर गया समझो मर गया सो इफ यू फियर देन यू विल नेवर सक्सेड इन लाइफ इफ यू फियर ऑफ लूजिंग मनी देन यू कैनोट मेक मनी यू शुड हैव कॉन्फिडेंस इन योर सेल्फ एंड देन यू कैन प्रोसीड फर्दर सो दैट इज वन देन देर वॉज वन मोर क्वेश्चन Bilal, second question. Uh, yeah, just launching the second poll. so a uh, lot of people have not seen this movie i would uh, request you to see the movie so that you can have a blueprint of uh, what should be done what should not be done you can have your own personal strategies out of that you can own devise your own personal strategy seeing what had gone wrong when the person had started the business and then what can all things can go wrong <clears throat> Uh, participants can you give your feedback in the chat whether 
i am going very slow or getting very you are getting bored or something so that i can pace my presentation accordingly okay somebody is saying going okay somebody is going fast or i can go fast somebody is saying okay fine thank you for your feedback <clears throat> i'll give one uh, example like how people Uh, take their particular profession or choose a profession. There was one girl who had gone with his father for a dinner. So she and father and others were sitting on the table. Suddenly, his father started yelling, and suddenly he dropped in his arms. The girl who was knowing CPR. she gave the cpr method of reviving her father but her her father went away in her arms so she selected the profession of being a nurse the idea for selecting the profession of nurse was that she saw her father dying in her arms that pain was unbearable for him and that pain carried with her for almost 10 years 20 years till the time she was not realizing that what is going wrong with her she was doing well she was a very good nurse but she was not enjoying she was not having fun one fine day she realized, because of this type of program she realized that that her success is somewhere else she left the job and then she went to a different profession and she was started enjoying it so you need to understand the only permanent change suppose you are sitting in a room and you are feeling cold there is a ac so what is the methodology of ensuring that you don't feel cold you will have to change the thermostat of that particular ac this is the only way so to achieve the level of financial success permanently you will have to change the thermostat stat of your mind then only you will be able to achieve success consciousness is observing your thoughts and actions that you can be from to choice in present moment rather than being run by programming in past so you should not allow yourself to be run by past programs which are not good or which are harmful to you and you need to change that how do rich people think they think differently from poor and middle class <clears throat> rich people play game to win they don't think of losing at that point of time they act in spite of fear fear whereas middle class people a little bit different from rich people and different from poor people what they think they need to be comfortable in life once they reach that comfort level they don't move out from that zone they are in between and when where in case of a poor people poor people will think only in one fashion paisa jayega to kya paisa dala to kya they will not come out from that type of a mentality so now you have to decide how we are going to choose you need to choose or think in way that will support your cause happiness and make wealth rich people believe i create my life 
पुअर पीपल बिलीव लाइफ हैपन्स टू मी अरे मेरे लैप में आएगा तो मैं ले लूंगा अरे कौन बनेगा करोड़पति से आया ना कॉल तो मैं ले लेगा मैं जाएगा लेकिन वो मेहनत नहीं करेगा कौन बनेगा करोड़पति में पहुंचने के लिए बट रिच पीपल से आई क्रिएट माई ओन लाइफ सो दिस इज वॉट देर इज अ डिफरेंस यू नीड टू हैव दिस टाइप ऑफ अ मंत्रा or this type of a vision or a mission and work towards it to ensure that you succeed in it now what is the thought process of a poor people poor people will say are bhai mai kyu mere ko hi kyu daba raha hai mere ko hi kyu aisa kar raha hai like say for example you are you are driving and you are in a middle of road and there is lot of traffic What you will do? Is there a yar government ko road banane ko niya ta hai, sudarta niya hai, rasta tik niya karta hai. Itna time se traffic hai, aisa hai, waisa hai. What are you trying to do at end of the day? You are trying to reduce your stress by doing that. Then there is there. What is going to happen when you are starting complaining? Is government going to listen to you in the car, or the traffic will go away automatically? What you are trying to do? You are trying to take out your stress because you are frustrated you are not able to do anything out of that situation that situation is not in your hand and you are not able to remove the traffic so you are frustrated and you are trying to take stress out of you say for example some person who is not earning money or something is there paisa mere ko zarurat nahi hai re bhai paisa ka paisa se sab kuch nahi kharida ja sakta hai abhi usko puchega aam tere liye इम्पोर्टेंट है या लेक अरे भाई दोनों इम्पोर्टेंट है जिंदगी में लव भी चाहिए प्यार भी चाहिए और उसके साथ में अपने को पैसा भी चाहिए खाना खाने के लिए और देर आर टू थिंग्स विच मनी कैन बाय टू थिंग्स विच मनी कैन नॉट बाय बट एट एंड ऑफ द डे इफ यू वांट टू हेल्प समबडी यू नीड टू हैव मनी टू हेल्प हिम तो मनी इज इक्वली इम्पोर्टेंट इफ समबडी सेज दैट मनी इज नॉट इम्पोर्टेंट टू मी देन हिज माइंड ब्लू प्रिंट इज नॉट करेक्ट he needs to rectify that particular area of his mind so that he can make money what happens is that aapka mind jab aapko mix signal dena start karega na ek baju aap bolega are mere ko paisa banane ka hai dusra baju bolega are nahi yaar mere ko mehnat nahi karne ka hai wo paise wala log kya na din raat bhar kaam karta hai usme aaram nahi milta hai to wo fight nahi mind is giving a mix signal and that is the reason that you are not able to go fast in your life so money is extremely important in areas which works like you need shelter food clothing so money is important and in few areas like love or family or relationship it doesn't work first you have to understand that what you focus on expands the power of focus so when you start complaining what generally happens is that you are focusing on negative energy and the more you focus on a negative energy it will expand i'll just give you a simple experiment which we used to do in a childhood day what we used to do we used to take one paper one a magnifying glass go to a terrace or to some place where sun would come bright what we will try to do we will try to focus the magnifying glass on the paper and try to put one bright spot on that after 5 minutes that paper would start burning what what does it indicate the power of focus if you are focusing on something very hard then it will surely happen i'll give you my personal example two days three days before i was looking at my portfolio i was looking i was trying to find out what has gone wrong or what is happened better i was trying to calculate the cagr of each and every individual stock in my portfolio and i came to a conclusion that i have got two or three demat account i was focusing only on one demat account probably because it was a high in value that portfolio gave me a good cagr of around 20% and where i was not focusing was giving me a cagr of 10% 12% something so at end of the day it is the power of focus where you are going to focus will grow so what you need to do is that you need to focus on your annual income as well as your net worth if your focus will remain on net worth obviously the net worth will start growing you look at what is your net worth today what is your net worth tomorrow 
fix a goal and have a realistic time frame that I will reach to this net worth at particular point of time. So this will help you in achieving the reaching that particular net uh, net worth. Uh, so this is what I was telling you that now you should practice that you will not complain at all for next seven days, whether it is your wife, whether it is your, your employee, whether it is your boss, whether it is your child, try to practice it. Because this will help you in coming out of a situation. When you practice this, what would happen is that you will be focusing only on a positive energy. You, if you practice this for seven days, I will tell you, you will be a lot happier. You will find true love in your life and you will enjoy also. Take the example of Krishna. Krishna never had any good thing in his life. He once upon, just he was born, he was deprived of love of her real mother. Then he had to file a lot of evils in, her, in his early childhood. His mama was concerned. Mama is, why did we say two times mama? Because it's mama, two times ma. But his mama was behind his life. He never complained about anything. Even the Vira with Radha was painful for him, but he never complained. He tried to find out best possible solution in every given situation. So, Never try to, never complain. This is exercise you try to do for yourself for next seven days and see whether you are getting results. If you are getting results, you carry on. If you are not getting results, throw it off in the dustbin. See, when you are uh, trying to say something, to, or complaining, then what happens is that you are trying to justify yourself or you are trying to remove your stress, something like that only. There is no difference. If you say income tax rates are very high, this, that, I don't want to pay, why government is this, 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 trying to justify or alternatively reverse way. If this is the kind of a Mindset, then obviously you are not going to make money. Jada kamaya, jada diya, lekin thoda to ghar mein aaya, extra. So what I will, I will uh, give you one exercise what you can do. And this will help you in finding out a good technique for you or improving your strategy. Write down one thing that went well in particular day. And that did not win in one particular day. Dono ko likho. Jo cheez tumne kiya, achha hua. Jo cheez nahi hua, achha nahi hua. Dono ko likho. So what would happen is that you will find out the strategy, what is working from you and what is not working for you. Uh, do I have a time? Uh, uh, conveners, do I have a time? Can I take a little bit, 10, 15 minutes more? Or yes, need I need to? Okay. Thank you. Yes. So, this is what you need to do exercise. If you want, I will give you exercise later on also by typing and sending across. You can get in touch with the conveners and they will. This already I have uh, explained, so I don't want to get again into this. See, rich people are committed. You have to be committed to become rich. Committed means what? You to give hundred percent. Come what may, I will do this. Who need you have? You cannot back out. If you need to work twenty four hours a day or eighteen hours a day, then you have to give that particular commitment to the business. Yesterday I was seeing the Shark Tank. There was one person who was aged seventy or seventy five. He was getting at four o'clock in the morning, going to buy fruits and then coming back and that. His child told that Papa Jada itna thaka deta hai, hum log ko, hum, Papa nahi thakte, hum thak jate hai. Subhe se, shaham se, raat ko, bara baje tak kaam kate. So you need to be committed on what you are doing. Some people will say, arre, kya mein haar gaya toh, baut kaam karna padta hai, mein thak jayega toh, mera health kharaab ho jayega, baut jada kaam karunga toh. Aur paise wale log ka, 
तो फिर बच्चे लोग को भी किडनेप होते इतना पैसा कमा के क्या फायदा है तो दैट काइंड ऑफ थिंकिंग इफ इट इज देयर देन यू विल नेवर मेक मनी सो यू नीड टू बी कमिटेड एंड यू नीड टू थिंक इन अ राइट फैशन no difference between choosing and commit wanting choosing and committing i want to be rich i will fall if it falls in my lap i'll just give an example like ar kbc mein aayega opportunity to jayega nahi to theek hai i choose to be this choose is a little bit word but then I, when i say commit to be rich you have to give 100% to your opportunity now let us come to law of income this also i explained to you earlier that the your income will go directly proportional to what you deliver according to the market rate say for and four factors determine the where value in the market one is supply one is demand one is quant quality and quantity now what you can do in your case is that you can increase the quantity say for example if you are helping 10 people you help 20 people you will make more money you will have 50 people you will make more money i give you example of a seminar if you are conducting 10 seminar 10 people in a seminar or one batch then people will you will your money will be different you are you are having 100 people in the seminar your money will be different you are having 1000 your money will be different so what you should do you should try to solve problems of more people the word entrepreneur means a person who solves problem if you if you would have seen shark tank then what that people do they come out with a solution for the problem like somebody comes up with a solution or prepares a gadget like whatever is good for diabetes or something and dialysis or something and that is what the product they bring and that is a solution to the people's problem so when you come to that level obviously you are going to make money focus on opportunities not on obstacles when you focus on opportunities obviously you are chances of getting success are more improved there is no luck factor you may feel that luck is favoring you or isko luck uska luck acha hai isliye wo jeeta hai aisa nahi hai bhai aap focus karo opportunities pe aap obstacle pe law of abundance or law of attraction comes into place if you are focusing only on opportunities you will see opportunities if you are focusing only on obstacles you will see only obstacles say for example there are two lines how to reduce another line one way is to rub out that line and another way is to increase the other line so you focus on your opportunities try to increase your income rather than decreasing somebody else income or something else so focus should be on opportunities rather than on a obstacles some facts about rich people kya aapko lagta hai ki jo paisa paise wale log hai wo zindagi bhar khali education hi lete rehta hai खाली बुक ही पढ़ते रहता है इट्स नॉट लाइक दैट दे टेक कैलकुलेटेड रिस्क एजुकेटेड रिस्क दे फोकस ऑन व्हाट दे वांट, दे कीप मेकिंग इन्वेस्टिंग ये सब चलते रहता है और उनके पास करेज रहता है और कमिटमेंट करेज इज एक्सट्रीमली इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज इफ यू फियर दैट यू आर गोइंग टू लूज मनी देन इट्स यू विल नॉट इन्वेस्ट इन दैट पर्टिकुलर वेंचर और बिजनेस और वट इट इज सम पीपल से अरे पैसा वाला लोग है ना वो गलत तरीके से पैसा कमाता है अभी इफ दैट पर्सन इज नॉट ऑनेस्ट आर यू गोइंग टू ट्रस्ट योर मनी विल यू बिकम अ शेयर होल्डर इन दैट कंपनी बट यू इन्वेस्ट इन दैट कंपनी फॉर मेकिंग मनी बट एट द सेम टाइम व्हाट यू आर गिविंग इंस्ट्रक्शन टू योर माइंड दैट दैट पर्सन इज नॉट गुड बट देन वेन यू इन्वेस्ट इन दैट मनी वॉट वुड हैपन समर देर इज अ कॉन्फ्लिक गोइंग ऑन इन योर माइंड with that particular investment so that is where you will come out of that particular uh, scrape or investment very fast rather than making money so these are few factors in your mind which are going on it's first of all it is mind over matter that should function aapka mind bahut powerful hai usko use karo just take the example of this dibbe who had come in india's best dancer which this picture i am showing across to you he did not do dancing to so, paisa nahi tha khane ke liye un langar mein khana khata tha lekin passion tha uske paas so if we are giving excuse to ourselves that are bhai 
अभी तो टाइम नहीं है अभी क्या करेंगे अब मेरे पास कंप्यूटर नहीं है मेरे पास कंप्यूटर तो मैं ऐसा करता मेरा तो पास क्लाइंट नहीं है मेरे पास तो कॉन्टेक्ट नहीं है मेरे पास तो ये नहीं तो वट आर वी डूइंग वी आर जस्ट गिविंग इंस्ट्रक्शन टू अवर सेल्फ और एक्सक्यूज टू अवर नॉट टू फंक्शन और टू मेंटेन द स्टेटस को द वे दिबे विदाउट लर्निंग डांसिंग केम अप टेक एम एज ए इंस्पिरेशन टेक द केस ऑफ अक्षय कुमार अक्षय कुमार वेंट थ्रू लॉट ऑफ बैड केसेस वो एक बंगलों के सामने खड़ा रहता था और देखता था उसका सिक्योरिटी गार्ड उसको भगा देता था फाइनली टेंट ऑफ दैट ही बॉट दैट बंगलो वाई ही वॉज एबल टू बाई दैट बंगलो बिकॉज ही परस्यूड इज ड्रीम एंड ही रोड मैप आप लिखो क्या क्या एक्शन आप लेने वाले हो वहां पहुंचने के लिए कीप ऑन इवेल्युएटिंग योर सेल्फ कीप योर सेल्फ अकाउंटेबल जैसा बॉस अगर आप एम्प्लॉय और बॉस को अकाउंटेबल है तो आप वैसे ही आप खुद को भी अकाउंटिंग करो अगर आपका खुद का बिजनेस है या इन्वेस्टमेंट करते हो आई विल जस्ट गिव यू वन एग्जाम्पल वॉट हैपन्स जनरली इन्वेस्टमेंट एंड यू आर डूइंग यूर ओन पर्सनल इन्वेस्टमेंट इन शेयर और समथिंग यू आर नॉट अकाउंटेबल टू योर सेल्फ एंड दैट इज द रीजन दैट यू विल जनरली नॉट मेक मनी वेन यू आर इन्वेस्टिंग इन म्यूचुअल फंड वॉट यू विल ट्राई टू डू यू विल ट्राई टू जज द परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ दैट फंड मैनेजर एवरी टाइम यू सी यार कितना रिटर्न आया पंद्रह टका आया बीस टका सी ए जी आया क्या आया सो दैट इज वेर यू आर लुकिंग योर सेल्फ यू कीप योर सेल्फ अकाउंटेबल ऑल्सो एट सम पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम and if you want to go fast take the help of a coach or a mentor which will help you in growing fast keep your momentum to grow your wealth now two things what you people have told me in what you are expecting after the seminar that's what i'm coming to how investment decisions are affected first there is a one over confidence in yourself suppose you have made money then you think that you are able to predict the market you are able to predict so you start predicting the market market abhi idhar jayega abhi ye aisa hoega abhi waisa hoega start predicting it and you become over confident because you made certain amount of money generally you cannot predict the market you cannot predict what way everything will go even the best of the best companies sometimes fail i'll give one example like in our company when this conditional access system was coming that time government had given a policy that compulsory you have to go cash means everybody would have a set top box and without a set top box nobody would be able to watch a cable tv or a dts platform so that point of time we had invested 100 crores but at the end of the day the policy of the government changed and suddenly the 100 crores had to be returned now this decision was correct at that point of time because there was a clear cut mandate so there was no over confidence so you have to understand the difference between the over confidence and the thing what has gone wrong you can have a decision journal you can uh, keep a diary with you and you can document your decisions and what you are doing why you are doing and you can uh, find out after some period of time you can find out what investments has gone well for you and what investment has not worked for you and why it is not worked for you. you can do some certain of analysis the decisions which you have taken have lead to success you can replicate it further then don't do over optimism over optimism means what when everything is good and fine people think are hey, this this things are going to follow never nobody thinks that it is not going to follow then you start anchoring yourself anchoring means what say for example if you have got in a mind that one script is there or one share is there ye share mein hazar rupaye mein hi bechega that 1000 rupees is your anchoring aapka mind mein ek anchor aa gaya aur wo anchor kahan se aaya ya to aapne wo 52 week low high dekha rahega bsc nsc pe ya fir aapko kisi ne kuch bataya rahega ya koi research report mein aapne padha rahega so this is what is called anchoring that anchoring will affect your decision you have to understand what is the true value or intrinsic value of that particular security and take a call rather than having an anchoring bet if you agar 990 rupees hai aur 1000 rupees hai 10 rupees ka farak hai but you would have mind ki main 1000 mein bechega to then you will not sell at 990 and after that 990 the price can come up to 500 rupees also so you need to take a conscious call 
and get out of that anchoring him now let us come to status quo generally what happens an activity was done lot of people get inheritance varsagat sampatti milti hai unko abhi samjho wo varsadi sampatti mein unko mila ghar mila share mila so what people will generally do is that they will maintain the status quo they will not change suppose they have got a share of colgate then they will keep colgate they will not sell it they will not see whether that interesting value is right wrong i need to shift it to something else if they have got property then you will maintain a status quo so this are decisions how are affected you have to understand then certain things we try to procrastinate are kal karenge parso karenge this reduces your enthusiasm so that is the reason that kal kare so aaj kar aaj kare so ab that is what comes into picture you need to do what you want to do tomorrow today don't procrastinate if you have to take hard decision bite the bullet you are, if you want to take a loss take a hit go ahead now coming to a basics of investing see warren buffett and charlie munger are the father or guru of in uh, this investing everybody reads charlie munger warren buffett everything but what happens is that we are not able to reach where he is reason usne to sab bata diya aisa karne ka waisa karne ka ye karne ka wo karne ka to reason kya hai hamara mindset is the reason hamara mind develop hi wo wo udhar apne mindset mein hi problem hai isiliye to apun udhar nahi pahunch sakta wo samajh ke bhi nahi pahunch pa raha hai wo he is not doing anything different what he is he is given everything as a open book but still how many warren buffett or how how many charlie munger has become hardly a few same fashion everybody can see what how sachin tendulkar is batting but everybody cannot become sachin tendulkar because it's a specific mindset that they have got you need to understand their mindset so investing is not about being original or creative it is to look or create value with least amount of risk aap kisi ko copy kar lo koi problem nahi modeling le lo उसका मॉडल ले लो कॉपी करो और इस तरह से फंक्शन करो कि आपका रिस्क बहुत मिनिमम हो अभी चार्ली मंगर बोलते हैं मार्जिन ऑफ सेफ्टी ये वो सब कॉन्सेप्ट है वो आप समझ के ले लो और उसके सब से फंक्शन करो मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज दैट पावर ऑफ फोकस कीप योर फोकस ऑन वेरी फोकस ऑन मेकिंग फ्यू डिसीजन डोंट टेक ट्वेंटी डिसीजन थर्टी डिसीजन फोर्टी डिसीजन इफ यू टेक फ्यू डिसीजन बट अ गुड डिसीजन दैट विल ऑब्वियसली वर्क फॉर यू what generally people do they apply pe ratio pe ratio is very simple to use and people just apply pe ratio in isolation pe ratio in isolation is not good because there are lot of factors high pe means maybe indicating that the company is able to go at a higher level so you need to do lot of comparison in 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 uh, pe ratio what can go wrong in pe ratio a user manual is by michael mobsin you can go through that so there a lot of insight as to how you should use pe ratio then to generate well you need to have a parable of pipeline there were two persons one was named bob and one was named pop what they used to do they used to go to a river in a village carry buckets and bring water and sell the water to the people in the village After some point of time, what Pop did is that Pop thought that this is all too gada majuri, this is too easiest solution. Nikal na chahiye. So what Pop did is that Pop started working half a day, and half a day he started building a pipeline. Suddenly, what happened is that Bob started earning more. Bob became rich, whereas Pop remained poor only where he was. But he never left his uh, choice of that pipeline he started developing the pipeline and as soon as that pipe came to the village he never as soon as the pipe developed more and more he was able to sell more and more buckets and the day the entire pipeline came to the village he was able to get more money at the same time bob's shoulder were dropped his back was back jhuk gaya tha sab kuch hua tha so the point here is that it's called a parable of pipeline 
you need to create a different different types of pipeline sources of income whereby you become rich have one pipeline which gives you interest dividend have another pipeline which give you rental income have another pipeline which will which will give you annuity have another pipeline which or you may enter into 12 different business you will diversify the business to diversify the risk and most important leverage time you have got only 24 hours try to make best out of it by leveraging asset allocation is extremely important and best strategy to increase and maintain wealth the way you asset see no asset class would perform very good in particular financial year and uh, like some some year gold will perform well some year equity will perform well some year bond market will perform well so if you have a balanced allocation to all the asset classes obviously you are going to make money and you are not going to lose money because when you require money you can take out the money from the asset class which is performing the best in that scenario you will not lose money somewhere else then take appropriate insurance and that helps us to transfer risk take medical insurance take term insurance take different different types of insurance where you can transfer your risk is a very small cost nowadays but these are extremely important and first and most important thing is that delayed grat gratification charlie munger and warren buffett are huge proponents of delayed gratification what is delayed gratification there was one experiment done by maslow what he did he gave sweets to kids and asked them ki bhai who server doesn't eats it immediately will give we will give one or two sweets extra few kids ate that sweets they did not take extra sweets two kids what they did they did not eat the sweets in anticipation of getting something extra after some period of time 20 years 25 years what they do, did an analysis and come to came to a conclusion that the people who delayed the gratification that people who did not eat the sweets were most successful people in business the concept of delayed gratification is why important because if you are earning money and if you are saving more obviously your investment will grow at a compound annual rate initially in life so when you are young you should save more so that that compounding effect will take your money to a next higher level we we want instant fruits instant gratification abhi kya bhi result chahiye aaj paisa dala kal result chahiye that's that's not going to happen and instead you may burn your hands so devise your own strategies see stock market is different investment is different so your psychology is different uh, everybody is different say for example if you try to copy sachin tendulkar you may not be able to copy 100% him because he will have a different mindset different uh, type of uh, mentality this this is a general i have already explained to you so i'll not get into it so modeling is most important thing use their story for inspiration inspiration like you can use sachin tendulkar or whatever first of all you you identify the role model what you want look for people who have achieved results similar to the ones you are trying to achieve suppose look for people who have struggled with the similar problems look for life story which is inspiring and motivating to you if you lack discipline look at people who are disciplined like akshay kumar who gets up 4 o'clock in the morning eats food at 6 o'clock after 6 he doesn't eat food look at people who have got discipline try to model them automatically you will fall in discipline you if you are a disciplined investor obviously you are going to make money suppose if you put money in sports you are not going to make money you would have heard mutual fund sip sahi hai why sip sahi hai because it's a it's a disciplined way of investing and it is working and hence more and more people are putting money in mutual fund through sips so this is how you will choose your role model look for people who have achieved the results similar one you are trying to achieve who have struggled with or who have struggled with a similar problem that you are trying going through look for the things what other people have this is the way if you choose a role model it will be helpful to you and will uh, you will grow faster look at the specific strategies they are using like when you use charlie munger or warren buffett you are trying to excel in shares or stock you use their strategy copy their mindset read the book they have read which will help you in getting into their minds 
अगर समझो किसी आदमी का दिमाग का ढक्कन खोल के उसके दिमाग के अंदर क्या चलता है वो देख सकता है तो इतना आसान है उसको कॉपी करने का बट देन गेटिंग इन टू देर माइंड इज देन यू विल हैव टू पुट योर सेल्फ इन देर शूज रीड द बुक्स द टाइप ऑफ बुक्स दे आर ट्राइंग दे हैव रेड ट्राई टू एम्यूलेट वॉट एवर स्ट्रेटेजीज यू मे कस्टमाइज देयर स्ट्रेटेजीज टू मीट योर नीड्स बिकॉज उसका साइकोलॉजी अलग रहेगा आपका साइकोलॉजी अलग रहेगा नो वन पर्सन इज यूनिक आपका फिंगरप्रिंट अलग है सब कुछ अलग है सो दिस इज वेर यू नीड टू फोकस नाउ आई विल गिव यू वन मॉडल विच चार्ली मंगल हैज यूज वेरी इफेक्टिवली वॉट चार्ली मंगल यूज टू डू इज दैट ये उल्टा सोचेगा सीधा नहीं सोचेगा पहला क्या सोचेगा कि क्या खराब हो सकता है वो सोचो ये स्टॉक कितना गिर सकता है सौ तो रुपया है कितना गिरेगा चालीस रुपया गिरेगा वॉट to what level it can come down what can go wrong we will list all the probabilities first of all he will have a checklist of what uska uh, management kaisa hai ye hai wo checklist to hai hi hai wo checklist everybody use as a chartered accountant by profession <coughs> we develop a checklist for everybody so <coughs> he will think ulta he will start from the end not from the beginning so it's a very powerful tool when you start from end and you think what all things can go wrong in this particular investment you are ready mentally and you have a plan in place what is that plan you will already document somewhere list down what all things can go wrong ab ye aisa hoega to main aisa karunga ye aisa hoega to main aisa karunga mera in goal hai khali 12% return 12% se zyada aa raha hai to mere ko problem nahi hai 12% se kam aa raha hai to problem hai You list down all the problems. What you think can go wrong with that particular scheme? Simple thing: read the risk factors given in the balance sheet, given in the DRSP. Risk factors? क्या है? क्या क्या गलत हो सकता है कंपनी के बारे में? सब risk factors select देख लो. क्या क्या risk factors दे रहा है? जो गलत है. वो ही simple चीज़ है. Very simple. What all things can go wrong with the company? They are all risk factors. Some may be far fetched. Then you have to come to a realistic conclusion. You know this. is very far fetched very unlikely to happen because company will give everything in drsp because they want to protect their director so this is one way of looking things so this is what charlie munger has used very effectively which i have discussed with you one more few tips i can give you is that go through the bsc nse announcements with respect to the stocks if you are interested in investing in stocks which may throw up new opportunities for you understand the business well you are part of the business share in profits don't go for instant gratification go for a delayed gratification obviously you will make money <clears throat> how this models will work for you in practical life is that how can i lose money as i told you know your limits know your circle of confidence competence aap kidhar hoshyar ho aap kidhar aapko knowledge hai आपको फार्मा इंडस्ट्री का नॉलेज आप पढ़ते हो आपको समझ में आ रहा है टू गो फॉर अ फार्मा इंडस्ट्री इफ यू फील दैट कि यू लो नो समथिंग बेटर लाइक फार्मा इंडस्ट्री इज नॉट योर कप ऑफ फील्ड यू फील दैट कि आई कैन अंडरस्टैंड टेक्नोलॉजी बेटर गो फॉर दैट पर्टिकुलर फील्ड जस्ट अंडरस्टैंड द बिजनेस वेल नो योर लिमिट नो हाउ यू आर कमिंग फ्रॉम लाइक जस्ट गिव यू वन एग्जाम्पल आई एम वेरी थिंग सो वेन आई वॉज इन अर्ली चाइल्ड हुड डेज आई was not uh, i i found out that i am struggling when i reached 7th standard i found out that i was struggling against the pace bowlers and other things i realized that if by all other people have grown in stature size health i am still as the same and i cannot match them at that point of time i decided because i knew my limits that point i decided that i will not pursue sports as my career otherwise i was scoring 200 runs nobody was able to get me out very cheaply so that point of time i decided that i would change myself and i will pursue studies because i cannot compete with people in this field you need to know your limits and you decide where you can what is your limit what is your circle of competence and from then onward i never looked back at it once decide why what is this stock not not worth of you have to decide stock ka kya benefit hai kya worth hai what can wrong go wrong versus growth drivers that are there 
समबडी वुड से दैट अरे ये तो बहुत अच्छा कंपनी है ये इतना अच्छा ग्रो ड्राइवर है अच्छा ऐसा परफॉर्म करेगा ऐसा इतना सेल्स बढ़ेगा अरे भाई कोलगेट कंपनी है तो टूथपेस्ट कितना लोग खरीदेंगे एक घर में जो टूथपेस्ट आता है चार लोग यूज करते हैं तो थोड़ी ना उसका कंजम्पशन बढ़ने वाला है या तो कंपनी को क्या करना पड़ेगा कि पब्लिक का आदत चेंज करना पड़ेगा कि भाई एक टाइम के जगह में दो टाइम ब्रश करो या दो टाइम के जगह में तीन टाइम ब्रश करो विच इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू चेंज द हैबिट और वॉट यू विल हैव टू डू यू विल हैव टू गो टू अ रूरल मार्केट वेर बाई पीपल आर नॉट यूजिंग एंड गिव अ स्मॉल टेटर ऑफ सो यू टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट आर द ग्रोथ ड्राइवर्स वॉट कैन गो रॉन्ग and what cannot go wrong you have to understand the risk factors which i have already explained to you go through the risk factors of the balance sheet of the drsp you will get lot of things in there what is the growth rate implied by the market in the current valuation of stock what is your future assumption of the stock and what is market factoring in when you take these two things into consideration you will realize and you will come to own conclusion that i should do the investment not do the investment this is true for all fields of life like even when you are selecting a bond you will have to do this due diligence because tomorrow interest rate goes up bond value will fall down you will lose you will have to get into all those aspects for bonds also for stocks also for everything Thank you, friends. Uh, I have come to end of my presentation. Thank you. Any questions? Your third question. You want to write it now? Fine. It's. Uh, I think it's uh, okay now. I think C A Govind Goel has come online. If he wants to say something. Uh, sir, thanks to you, BMI. The way you have covered, the way you have told people, uh, management of wealth, management of investment. I think uh, I was feeling like we are sitting in a gurukul, and in gurukul, the guru is giving us the gyan. That kind of gyan is people carry with them. I am sure that everyone will be a best investor as far as they. Who have attended today's, uh, today's program, they will be known as the best investor uh, among all those who are investing money in whatever field. Uh, you have already told various pipeline, various baskets, and I am sure that people will follow your advice, your guidance. And uh, Gracie, we may have to arrange the device talk. Uh, Uh, more frequently, uh, if we're not uh, uh, on quarterly basis, at least twice in a year, so we can uh, understand more and more about this investment strategy, about wealth management, about preserving our uh, own money and earning out of that. So, Gracie, uh, any if there are any questions, uh, you can ask the participants. Yes, there is. There are questions. Is stock market only way to make money? <clears throat> Why? No, it is not only the stock market. See, the the thing is that inflation is going at the rate of five percent. It is stated that inflation is going at the rate of five percent, but actual inflation is somewhere eight or nine percent. And all of you would agree that fixed deposit rates. Have become five percent because in this take the example of the corona. Say for example, a uh, fifty year or say sixty or sixty five year old had a one crore earlier used to get ten lakh. Now because of the reduction in the rate of interest to five percent, he is getting only five five lakh. How will he manage his uh, household expenses? So if you want to get a little bit more return, then you have to invest in stocks you can invest directly in stocks if you have expertise you can invest indirectly with the help of mutual funds if you don't know or don't have the expertise of investing in stocks equity will beat all instruments in long run 
so this is the reason that equity is the best way to ensure that your capital doesn't depreciates say for example you are investing in rbi bond it is going to give you 7% return but at end of the five year you are going to get the principal only back whereas when you invest in equity 10 lakhs rupees you will get 3.3 times after 10 years at 12% cagr which is quite reasonable to expect knowing the inflation rate so that 10 lakhs will grow to 33 lakhs which cannot happen in your standard case of rbi bonds or equity so you will have to match have a mix and match of all the assets i am not saying that you put money only in equity basket you will have to put some money in fixed deposits whereby you get a fixed return so your your household expenses are taken care you will have a little bit amount in rbi bond but then that is a seven year bond which will your money gets blocked you don't have a liquidity you are putting money in property then your money doesn't have a liquidity whereas in case of shares mutual funds you got a liquidity you can get money in three days back so you will have to have a mix and match of all the assets and you will have to plan very early how you will go about it have i answered the question yep nicely sir any other Gracie, I think that uh, people are more than satisfied with the sessions today. I will search if somebody. Somebody is asking that whether investing in gold is good. Gold. You have. That's what I said. You will have to have a mix and match of all the asset allocation in a basket. Gold can have five percent weightage in your basket. because gold is not appreciating the way every year it's a very high volatility you would have seen that gold appreciated from 38000 to 48000 and went up to 54000 now suddenly it is back at 48 and because of crypto gold has not increased in last one one and a half year gold is a good hedge because it's it's a hedge against the depreciation of indian rupee uh, say for example if gold is in us at x x rupees when you convert into 75.60 it comes to different when it goes to 76 it comes different so gold is obviously a natural hedge against inflation but at the same time it doesn't work well like equity you can have a gold bonds which gives you 2.5% interest as well as you can get that gold as when when you want to buy but buying direct gold will lead to loss because it will reduce it will reduce your making charges it will reduce the impurity cost so best way is to buy gold bond but don't go beyond 5% asset allocation asset allocation is extremely important rather than owning a particular asset because that's the key to success Nine, uh, statistics have proved that the asset allocation is the only way to ensure that your risk are balanced and you get the maximum return out of that particular whole bucket you have to look overall net worth Over to you, Gracie. So, uh, Gracie. Ah, uh, okay, okay. I I was on mute. Sorry. Sorry, I was on mute. On behalf of BCAS dignitaries of the committee, Chairman Govind Goyal. Co-chairman K K Junjunwala, President Abhay Mehta, and my co-conveners Ryan and Mahendra, I am privileged to thank C A Vijay Kapta for accepting our invitation willingly to share basic facts on financial health of wealth. Few will share such experiences that lead to insights of many aspects of finance which we will not get in any books. With this brief note of appreciation, a big thank you to Vijay Kapta for sharing his knowledge and experience. it will be a blessing to each of us if we reflect on what we heard and see what needs to be done to have a healthy financial wealth 
Thank you, BCS Events Management, Javed and Bilal, and all the IT team, especially Bilal. Thanks to each and every participant who joined with us, and also those who registered, who spent time to attend today's meeting and be with us here to learn together, especially participants who stayed throughout. Thank you. Uh, I would like to thank Gracie especially for the time and efforts what she has taken, pain she has taken. Thank to Bilal, thank to Govind Goel, thanks to BCA for giving me this opportunity. Thanks to Drew, thanks everybody for giving me an opportunity. Thanks. If you thank want, you. Uh, Tony, uh, Mr. Sir, Tony, there are only two persons. One is a speaker who has uh, uh, shared his knowledge and experience in one Gracie. 